we're going to learn how to program an Arduino to control a servo using a potentiometer. For this project, you'll need an Arduino, a breadboard, a servo motor, a potentiometer, some wires, and a power supply. First, connect a wire from the 5 volt port to the positive rail of the breadboard. Then connect another wire from the ground port to the ground rail. Now connect from the 5 volt rail to the left side of the potentiometer. Then connect the right side to the ground rail. Then connect the center pin to port A0. Next, connect from the 5 volt rail to the servo motor. Then connect the ground wire to the servo. And finally, connect the signal wire to port 9 of the Arduino. The circuit should look something like this. So now we need to connect the Arduino to our PC so we can write the code. You can download my Arduino code for free, links down below for that. The basic code is very easy. We just type this at the top. This tells the Arduino that we are using commands from the pre-made servo library. Then we need to create an object. Basically, we declare the name of the servo so that we can tell it what to do. I will call this servo1. Then we tell the Arduino which of its pins is connected to the servo motor. In our case, we have pin 9, so we type that. Now, as we are using an external potentiometer as an input device to control the servo motor, we will need to declare this also. So we type this, which just lets the Arduino know which port it will receive a signal on. Then we type this line of code in. This just links the named servo to the pin which we have also declared. Next, we type this code in. This is saying that we need to read the value from the analog input of the potentiometer, which is connected to port A0. The Arduino reads the voltage through this pin, but it doesn't understand voltage because this is an analog signal port. So it will generate a number between 0 and 1023 depending on the voltage. When the potentiometer is all the way to the left, it receives the full voltage, so it is 1023. When it is turned all the way to the right, it is at 0 volts, so we read 0. The value changes as we turn the dial. The servo doesn't understand these numbers though. It wants to know a rotational degree between 0 and 180 degrees. So this is creating a map or conversion scale to say that if the signal is 0, then the position is 0 degrees. If the signal is 1023, then the position should be 180 degrees. The final line just sends the information to the servo. It writes to the servo to let it know what to do. So then we send the code to the Arduino, and shortly after, we will be able to control the servo position with the potentiometer. Once you understand this, you can make more advanced circuits. Check out one of the videos on screen now to continue learning about engineering, and I'll catch you there for the next lesson. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, and theengineeringmindset.com.